Ooh, every girl likes a shiny radio. So, you know how mom told, always told you not to chew with your mouth, with your mouth open or your mouth full? Yeah. <clears throat> Gotta scrape his barnyard up here at least, get it all tidied up, and then we can uh, spread it, and then go down to the other barn and do that down there. Oh, what the heck? Make tore this up here, unless the water did that. Hmm. Of course, I thought we put concrete over that, but I guess not. We did over here, but not there. I'm just standing here admiring what God has blessed us with. Yeah. You think that old AB8 dryer we had, that old farm fans we had, was a toy compared to that dryer? Yeah. That's a toy compared to that bin. Mm-hmm. It is a most certainly a toy. Um, <clears throat> we got something new here on the farm. I think it's going to help me clean up a whole heck of a lot easier this year is I've taken some advice from Raymond Farms, Jeff Raymond, and we got ourselves a mat. Hooey, a mat. Yay. Now, I'm not exactly sure, because at first I thought it was just cardboard because of, you know, what, because of the, the brown surface. I thought maybe it just got that way because it was wet. Nah. I don't know what the heck kind of stuff this is. If if there's anybody out there in YouTube land that can tell me what kind of uh <clears throat> what kind of uh a mat that that is, I'd appreciate it because then maybe I could find it on Amazon and buy a whole heck of a lot more for over there. Over there and over there. Well, it's always good to check your surroundings and be aware of what the heck is going on. Um, that's a piece of high tensile fence. I tell you exactly. I tell you exactly where all this uh, come from was when you guys probably remember when I was mowing with that old. That old woods mower, okay? We had that that old that old woods mower. It was a B. Well, darn it! It was a B one eighty. I want to say it was a batwing, and I had wrapped a high tensile fence around it, and we definitely don't need this going through the manure spreader. We can save this. We can save this to mend fence with. It's still good. It just needs washed off and uh, dealt with appropriately. There's a good chunk there, but at least it didn't end up in any more of the manure pile than it already was and gone through the spreader. Because that would have. There, now we can have a conversation. Because if this would have went to the manure spreader, we would have had all kind of problems. Big problems. Would have made for a good YouTube video, but I don't think Dad would would have really appreciated that. Or the pocketbook. So, I'm not exactly where I wanted to be as far as a stopping point. But, it's a good enough stopping point that I can... Tidy, tidy this up later once I get my spreader hooked up which I should have done 
beforehand but you know at least i got this cleaned up enough so i can hold my gate open and there's probably two probably two good loads in here maybe but i wanted to have all this cleaned out in here and piled and then get the spreader hooked up but you know god seen it fit that i stopped when i did too tight nope that's not gonna catch if it does we'll just go around like that just for the heck of it take up the slack make sure our hydraulics all hooked up it ain't exactly how i wanted to be backed in here but I kind of wanted to be over against that rack a little bit more, but eh, it'll work. And hey, no more twines on the beaters. Only just a just a skosh. He said, "Load it light and don't make a mess," because I gotta go down the road with this stuff. Now, I don't care how long of a job I'm going to be doing or how minimal something as small as running an impact gun in a shop or being on a tractor. I want ear protection.
of here so I run manure off the tires. Instead of getting it all over the driveway. Got all our manure hold, and we're done. Now, guess now we gotta unhook this, wash this tractor, put tractor away, put a round bale of hay out with skid loader. Guess I could just use this to put my hay out, but too big and cumbersome, too big and bulky. I mean. Well, so we just got the 6120 all washed up. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to talk about farm safety and what I've gained over the years and my knowledge. Might be a plus. Might help some guys. It might not. I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see what happens. Come, boss! Come on! Come on, cow! Yep, this is why I didn't want to bring my gator through here. Even though the cows are right over there. If I were to open that gate, they'd all come right out it. So. I'm gonna carry this. Yeah, there'd be no way I'd get my gator in here. Cause it's wet. So I'm gonna do is carry a slab over to where they can see it. And hopefully they will find the slab. Then I can walk back, get another one. Yes, I hear you. And we'll keep the cycle going. Come, come boss. Come, boss! Cows are colorblind, too. Come, boss! Come, boss! Come, boss! I guess it works. Come on, come, boss! Come on! Come on, come, boss! Come on! Well, they were moving pretty good there for a minute. Come, boss. Come on. Yes, that's what I like to see. That's what I really like to see. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, and that's what I like to see. Training them to come into the barn to eat the hay. Calves are up here. Feed the cows down there. And and Oh, Dad's going to go plant wheat. That's what he's going to go do. That is what he's going to go do. And there he goes. Is that all we're doing? Is that all we're doing? Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah, as long as you've got everything fed and done. Okay. All right. Bye. Hey. What? You're going to start thinking about mowing grass tomorrow if you're not running all trucks. Okay. All right. Bye.